Hi, welcome to Rant Lab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we are bringing you an update. Update video. Update we have uh, video. we've not done one of these in I can't remember when last time we did one of these. <laughs> you know. remember? I know. We always say that, but like usually we do do them pretty frequently. No, <laughs> actually, it's been months. It's been literal it's months. Been <laughs> <a long time. laughs> it's been a real long time. So um, we thought that it was uh, you know a good way to start off our year of content. Yes. Uh, with you know, basically letting you all know what what our plans are, what we've yes. been doing, what state we of the channel plan to do, the uh, yeah, the uh, the state of the channel, if you will, um, and go from there. Yeah. So, how would you like to start this off? Well, where have you been? Where have we been? <laughs> where haven't we been? So yeah, and I think it's good to, to point out that every year around Christmas. Mm -hmm. We uh, we really dial down. Yeah, we scale back quite a bit. Yeah, and this yeah. is an intentional thing. It's a if you want to call it mental health time, you want to mm -hmm. call it just um, you know taking a, taking a little break. I'm gonna go take a break yeah. um, and just really dial down um, you know the amount of work we do for the channel. Yeah. Because uh, you know as you can for those of you who do this and those of you who who can imagine what what it goes into the amount of work that we have to do. Yeah. To keep this channel running, right? Yeah, it's um, it's a lot, um, and I think around the holidays, like for us, I mean, we have six kids. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of other things going on with work, and just the holiday time gets yeah. really busy. But it's a good busy, and we like to be present for that. So we, I think, for years we've been doing this. We've always kind of been we felt a little bit guilty because we do naturally scale back. Like right, it's like right after packs. We get so excited having done all the con season and the fall, mm -hmm. and then it's like now we're thinking about like Christmas and you know just kind of getting into the new year, yeah. and we end up scaling back. So uh, I think like the last couple of years we really haven't felt guilty about it. It's just kind of like this is what no, we do. No. Yeah, the, <laughs> we're guilt scaling is, back. the guilt is gone. But it's it's so nice though because we do take we do end up taking a break from just kind of playing and industry stuff and take that chance to like reassess where we want to go in the new year mm -hmm. and I feel like we always end up coming back energized with kind of a new excitement yeah as opposed to um, sometimes it you know can kind of start to feel like work and we yeah, never want to starting sit down. yet another year yeah. of content and let's yeah. let's do it all again and it's like well, and you never uh, want to get to the point where you're sitting down at the table at night and it's like all right what do we have to film the kids are finally asleep we went through a couple days like you know hard day at work and we're like, oh, all right, what do we have to do? Mm -hmm. Like, we never want to be there. No. So when we start getting to that point, we know it's time to, like, take yep. a break and, and just uh, focus on other things for a little bit. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say that, yeah. like, this this is not our job. Oh, yeah. At no. all, right? Like, we don't do this for a living. Mm -hmm. um, one bit. Any any money we make out of doing this from our patrons mm -hmm. um, and from, like, YouTube, yeah, uh, AdSense, and, and it, that's, like, pennies, right. honestly. Um, is just enough to keep this going, right? Yeah. We right. do, um, and we give back to our patrons. We gave away four games. Uh, just in December. Yeah. Just in December. Yeah. We have another one going out as well. Plus, we're going to continue to do this pace of games mm -hmm. uh, going out the rest of the year. We're just giving away games. Yeah. Even from our own collection, we're going to start games yeah. we haven't opened yet, uh, games maybe we've played once. Mm -hmm. We're just going to keep giving this stuff away because we, yeah. we're in a process of thinning our collection now. But in any case, we want to start giving back to, our, to those who've been supporting the channel, mm -hmm. uh, and it feels really good to do that. Yeah. So as I was saying, we do not do this for a living. We do not have any dreams or I would even say nightmares of, of doing this for a living um, kudos to those of you who do nothing wrong with it but I don't know if I could sleep at night if this were my source of income to pay the mortgage every month yeah. honestly because at any point we've seen this mm -hmm. you're yeah. done right one thing goes out one bad one bad bit of press right somebody gets pissed off at you on Twitter mm -hmm. and you're over and there goes your whole income stream like to have that power in somebody else's hands to take food yeah. off your table to me doesn't sit well yeah, honestly it just funny. doesn't so you're to have a life where you're walking on eggshells every day mm -hmm. i just couldn't even you know not with six children and and our our kids our family life is everything in yeah. this world so everything else takes a back seat just yeah. know that like and i think i mean truthfully i think that is the key to happiness is. in life is <laughs> to is. is to really put your family first um and then everything else is just secondary right yeah um, but to us mm -hmm. We also have full-time jobs. Yes. So right. we do have careers that we are both in very important roles um, yep. where we work, respectively, 
and uh, you know people depend on us and that that pays the bills yeah. and it really is is where where our focus is so we try to do this um, as sort of a you know our way to share our love of the hobby yeah with you all and we've mm -hmm. been doing it for years and years and years so we've never really chased the rabbit so to speak yeah and gotten into this you know the rabbit race where you're just Oh, I need to make sure I have the most snappy thumbnails, and yeah. I need to make sure that I'm hitting the algorithms, and right. I need to make sure I'm keeping up with content coming out. I need to make sure I get my top tens out this week yeah. because <laughs> that's what gets the clicks, that's what gets right. the subscribers, and quite frankly, we just don't care anymore. Yeah, I think. Um, well, and I will say, I think like over the last, I mean, how many years has it been since you started the channel? Probably over ten. Twenty fourteen, I think, was the start. Yeah. So ten years now. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is an interesting milestone for twenty twenty four, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's kind <clears throat> of like we've we've definitely gotten a taste of that and it's really easy to get sucked into like when a lot of your friends are content creators too it's yeah. kind of like all right guys let's see how much content we can put out and like it's fun to kind of do that a little bit to a point but when it starts to like absorb all the things that you actually really do value yep. then um it's time to take you know kind of some several steps back oh, yeah. and reevaluate so i think that's the one thing like going into 2024 that mm -hmm. we started to think about is like what should we be cutting back on not necessarily what we should be adding to the channel right um and we can probably speak to that a little bit right so yeah, some changes yeah. maybe that I are coming so. in 2024 yeah and i think um so where do you want to start with that like what are you thinking as um, far as... i think top of mind right now mm -hmm. is just crowdfunding yeah, and like, yeah if yeah, i yeah. had to take That's anything away from 2023 and my experience with the channel it has just been my nightmare of dealing with crowdfunding projects mm -hmm. um i'm not like pointing at anybody specifically, but we have, again, with limited, limited time that we have, the demand that these crowdfunding projects require um, are, it, it's just, it's too much for us to at least, I guess, to put in the kind of quality that we want to have. Um, it, it's just too much. So like we could get a game in, kind of learn it, throw it up on the channel and be like, we didn't really play this, but here's a game. And it's basically an ad, mm -hmm. um, which is helpful for the publisher because they get to get out to all of you guys. But that's not really where we want the, the channel to go. So we do put the time in to kind of demo the games. But that is a challenge in and of itself because you get these rule books that are like half written, yeah. um, that are still a work in progress, <laughs> um, which takes a lot of time, a lot of questions back and forth. And we're not even talking about like really complex games. Mm -hmm. So um, that that whole back and forth and everything. And then we had a couple projects last year that like, I don't even know if you guys saw videos for because we made the videos and then they pulled the project early or um, ended up, the project ended up failing. And mm -hmm. then it's like, well, okay. So all that work was sort of for nothing. Um, so we're really, and then I think on top of that, right? we've been seeing in the industry just that folks aren't really backing as much and a lot of people are more interested in kind of our older games. Yeah. When we talk to people now, especially people that are new to the hobby, they're like, I don't really have a ton of money to spend on a Kickstarter. <laughs> I think uh, you know? the, economy, <laughs> the economy certainly has had yeah. a hand in, in people's budgets. Yeah, and they've been shopping used games. So yeah. they're like, oh, I'm just buying used games and they're new to me, you know? So yep. we really want to focus this year not so much on Kickstarter and crowdfunding and, and like the new hotness new hotness as much. I'm not saying right. we won't be oh, covering it because of course we, we still get excited about new games yep. and um, and we'll be we'll be delivering that to you. But we're we're definitely cutting back on the amount of projects we're saying yes to without a doubt. Uh, now we have certain publishers and designers who we consider friends mm -hmm. that uh, we've been with working with for a long time that yeah. we will continue to cover their stuff even their kickstarter stuff just because we we know they put out quality products and we know their kickstarter stuff. well and the thing is and i'll just to kind of like i don't know put a fine point on it mm -hmm. it's not that like we're not friends with people that we're not covering their kickstarters but it's like the people that we're choosing to continue working with um when we get the project we know that it's basically a full game like if the rules mm -hmm. are done it's ready to go it's basically just and we know it's going to fund we know it's going to so yeah. the work that we put in is going to be worth it right and it's just we just have we know who's going to fund it who's yeah. not you just know yeah. right off the bat uh you have a pretty good idea we've been doing this long enough so you'll see a lot less kickstarter coverage um you will see us continue to do some new games yeah. i think that's going to okay. continue to happen yeah. but you're going to start to see some 
uh, series that we put out of yeah. games that are in our collection. We like yes. this year. We want to get our Lacerda series. I think we're going to start that like February. S pretty soon. So, we're going to now yeah. we're going to get through our backlog. We have yep. a backlog of games that we do have to cover mm -hmm. that we uh, want to make sure we get out. There's because the, mm -hmm. those are commitments. Commitments to publishers who've sent us games to to demonstrate. Yeah. That we just haven't, you know, on our break we haven't gotten to. So, like as you can see, Nucleum's on a table. This is one that's yeah. been on the table for weeks now because we just <laughs> haven't sat down to film it, and we're going to take right. care of this uh, this evening. Uh, but you'll see, so you'll see a, a Nucleum uh, play uh, video come yes. out. Uh, right. We're going to start doing some videos where we don't play a full game, like like Nucleum. We're mm -hmm. going to play a couple of rounds, talk through a lot of the mechanics and how the game plays and all that stuff. Um, and then give you our opinion on it, right? Yeah. And I think that's where it stands. It doesn't. We're not going to do always do long form playthroughs. Yes. Uh, depending, Nuclear is a challenging one because it doesn't fit on our table. That's it's the biggest. So thing. dang big, right? Right. Um, which is why somebody sitting through a playthrough that is you're going to be frustrated. It's yeah. it's just way too big for our table. I mean, it's probably big too big for. It's not too big for the table. Like playing it it's is too fine big to film it to fit it in our camera with yeah. our current setup just doesn't work. And I'm not going to refinagle everything just to fit this in. But in any case, when that does happen, you'll start to yeah. see. It's not that we don't want to, it's just that we just can't get it to work out. But either way, you'll get the full feel for what the game is. Yeah. And what we're always trying to, to, to get across is that this is the experience you're going to have with this game. Mm -hmm. Here are some of the things that, um, some of the rules and mechanics that we'll talk you through that may help you better understand what the rule books are trying to tell you. Yes. And that's really yeah. where we feel our value is. And hey, when you listen to our explanation, oh, that makes so much more sense than the rule book reads. Mm -hmm. And that's if, if that happens, then we've done our job. Yeah. We're not here to try to sell you a game, right? Yeah. The game will sell itself if it's good. Right, yeah, for sure. So we're not salespeople. We're not hype people. Yeah. You know, we're not influencers trying to influence you to buy a game. We're just sharing what we enjoy and hopefully helping you get a game to the table without frustration. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's really what yeah. we want to get to now and how we want to shift this up. We do not want to be in the same category as, you know, a TikTok influencer or yeah. Instagram influencer. That's just not us. That's yeah. not what we do. We're not here to get clicks and we're not here to make sales. Right. That just happens. Yeah. The games do it. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So, um, so you'll start to see that. That'll be a little bit different with us. Um, we're going to continue to, to um, give away games to our patrons. So if yeah. you want to get in that, uh, we're opening it up now to our lowest tier. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. And, and like what we did in December, we did a giveaway. We did four games, um, which it won't always be four games. It'll probably be more like maybe two. Like mm -hmm. usually we're doing one, but I think we're gonna do two now. Probably do one big, one little. Yeah, and so right. like the highest tier obviously is open. It's the bigger game. Bigger games, so it'll be a bigger game. And then we have a lot of like smaller box games mm -hmm. um, that you know will be open to that lower tier. Right, too, and maybe so. the lower tier gets a used game. Yeah, but, exactly. Like yeah, there's nothing wrong with used games. Let me tell you. And, yeah. <laughs> Our, some of our games have been played twice. Yeah. Maybe three times and yeah. they've just sat on a shelf for right. years. So um, I'd rather get it in the hands of somebody who actually will play it. Yeah. And and, and enjoy and it, right? Enjoy it. We just have we still have five hundred games. Let's yeah. talk about Let's that. Let's talk about yeah. that. Yeah, so this will <laughs> this is a nice segue. So we still have about five hundred games in storage that we are slowly bringing to our house now mm -hmm. and going through categorizing, inventorying it. Um, and we're going to be uploading our um, our web store on the Board Game Nexus, yes. where you can actually go look at the games mm -hmm. that we have in our store and buy them directly from. And the website. I'll go ahead and just drop a link down in the description uh, where you can go to directly access that. So whether you're watching this mm -hmm. the week of January, the weekend of January 27th, or you're watching it in a couple of months, um, you'll be able to follow up there and see what's for sale because. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. You'll be able to just kind of go on there and see pictures of what we've got and um, purchase away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll these are send them to you. <laughs> they're you get used games are going to be yeah. at, at at reasonable prices, cheaper yeah. than where you would get them. Yep. Basically yep. from anywhere else. Yeah, I'm looking um, at our piles right now. Yeah, we, we just want to get these out of here. We started listing. I have a good chunk up there right now, but yeah, yeah, cool. And we are not. On our web store, we're not selling games we got from publishers. Yeah, these are games we've clear. bought. Like yeah. half our collection is pretty much Same bought, if that. not more. Yeah, yeah more maybe right. three quarters of our collection is games we've purchased over the years yeah. or traded for, or what have mm -hmm. you. Um, so it's these are our games that we yeah. have. Um, so we are going to those are the ones we'll be selling. Just in case you're like, well, I don't want to buy your review copies. That's not the case. <laughs> yeah. um, so um, aside from that, I think uh, we definitely are. So we're scaling back on Kickstarters. Yep. We're going to be selling a lot of our games uh, in our collection, trying to get it down to basically what we have behind us. Yeah, maybe uh, a little bit more. And than another that. shelf yeah. across the room you don't see, which will be our our core collection. Yeah. And once we get it down to that, mm -hmm. 
Then we'll do a list. Then we'll do a list. Of our yes. top 50 games what we kept. in our collection. <laughs> Basically what we kept. What yeah. we find deserves to be in our collection yeah. and we will rank our collection. Like yes. I think if we're going to do a list, that's the list I want to do. Yeah. I don't want to do a, what are the most anticipated games for 2024? Like, yeah. I don't even know. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Because there's, out of 5,000 games, you want me to grab the 10 of them yeah. that I think are going to be the hottest ones. <laughs> have you seen some of the games that have come out in the last year or two? <laughs> have you? Like, because I've seen a lot of last them. Last year was pretty, at the end of last year, started to redeem Here's the 2023. Thing. I will say that. I'll say there were 50 games last year. That's Pretty benevolent. Out of 5,000, yeah. that's pretty sad. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, I mean, honestly, think about that. That yeah. is extremely... Oh, I know. That's 1%, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's 1%. That's the, that's the 1%. <laughs> that's the 1% that's worth playing. So, right. like, what are those other 4,950 <laughs> games go, right? Landfill. Yeah. Like, seriously. So, not to offend anybody, but... Games are being developed and pushed out within a year, because mm -hmm. right? yeah. they're happening every year. And everybody and their cousin is like, I'm gonna design a game now. Mm -hmm. So you're getting this flood of games in the market. And a lot of it's just mediocre. Yeah, It's just right. re-theming of old games. It's really thin light work replacement or hokey party games that we're just not into. Yeah. So, Which might be valuable to some somebody, people. I mean, but, this is like probably a larger discussion for a panel or I something, think so. but like we're definitely, we have seen a shift in the gamers as well. So like mm -hmm. we're bringing in like, we have some young, like, you know, younger people it's a younger coming, demo in, coming in and we have to remind ourselves sometimes, like we have been doing this for a long time. <laughs> so we are oh. aging, we are aging in the gaming community. Our own Anthony is going to be 50 years old tomorrow. on Saturday, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So, big, um, big milestone we do have to for me. <laughs> so, so, I have... <laughs> that, you know, we've got 20-year-olds coming into the hobby that yeah. might just want to play party games, and that's cool. That is, but um, what happens is but it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's forcing a shift in what's coming out. Yes, yes. To be that type of game. Yeah. And a lot less of the core Euro games yeah. that we used to love. Which Ten is years why ago, right? you should, if you are, if you like our taste, I think, um, we appreciate you sticking with us and we, we request that you continue to stick right. with us. Because I think what we've started to see is like we have gotten kind of pulled into covering some games that maybe aren't completely aligned with the kind of games that we love, mm -hmm. right? And so that's what we're really trying to just cut away from and go forth forward in 2024 and really focus on the games that older games and games that are coming out that are really the ones that we think are worth our time right if that makes sense yeah they're the games that we like consider the, to be the core hobby games for yeah, us like yeah. that's what drew us in mm -hmm. that's what we appreciate and enjoy yeah um so we've we've really started to gravitate towards certain designers now mm -hmm. more so than we ever have yeah yeah because those designers um have really matured their designs over yeah. the years to where they're really appreciated right mm -hmm. um whereas some of this other new stuff that's come out is like eh. and then people are raving about these games we play them and i'm like I, I don't see it I know. like i'm not enjoying this experience and i'm am i missing something yeah but if i think it's just a shift in the taste in mm -hmm. in what the new demo in the community wants uh -huh. um and it just doesn't align with what we've grown up with in this yeah. in this space and i think that's why we really sort of kind of pulled away from it a bit um, because you don't really feel like you're in you have your finger on the pulse of the of the hobby anymore right right because the hobby no longer tastes or smells what it used to it, yeah i often say it's like it's kind of like you're um i don't know it's like you're sitting in like a like we're just kind of hanging out sitting in a bar or something mm -hmm. like that and it's like our friends and like I don't know whatever and then it's like you're sitting there so long that like the night crowd starts to come in right like the party crowd starts to come in and you're like wait a minute is this the same place that we were sitting like a minute ago why are yeah. why is all the food different like why is it you know yeah, the, the whole, vibe, like, the whole changed. vibe has changed and you kind of have to just like not get upset with the restaurant because the vibe has changed you have right. to step out and be like okay where can we find that kind of vibe we were looking for right within this space somewhere else maybe. So yeah. that's kind of what we take the step back and I think that's like really go. where where we've struggled. It's like yeah, where yeah. where is our place right in this space anymore. As we've kind of matured and grown grown up. As we've grown hobby. grown out. I don't know though. No, I think <laughs> the like hobby's grown the hobby's grown yeah. in its its own direction. Yeah. 
and we haven't grown with it because yeah. we're we have our our own tastes right, and our tastes right. haven't changed yeah so i think that's what we kind of struggle with mm-hmm. and yeah I mean, and i struggle like i struggle with the social media stuff like yeah. we've tried like i've tried so many times to I, just, I personally like, believe get on the yeah. instagram thing like do the nah, TikTok thing. And just like, not doing it. I'm just, I, I think, and I've tr- I know personally, like, I've just tried so hard and I've beaten myself up over not doing the things. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why can't I do that? Like, why can't I be that person? And I see everybody else putting out their little quippy things and their funny things and their jokes well, and like whatever. And their, and their pictures with the box. And I'm like, every time I do it, it just feels so inauthentic yeah. for me. And I just feel so goofy like I, i'm not saying it's goofy if other people do it but for me it's, it's not just us. not it's just not me it's, it's not, not us. us so i think we're trying to be truer to ourselves mm-hmm. in 2024 and going forward yeah because when you in terms of like what we what we really want and um you know like you said growth is nice like it's great to see new subscribers joining the channel and seeing the channel grow and everything that definitely hits us in a good place sure but it it also isn't what our core focus is Mm -hmm. so which can be tough when again you're around community members that are like oh this person's growing so fast no their channel's up to here already and it's like like, okay but that's not that's great i guess but for us it's just not and my question is also like and what are they getting for it well that's that's my point what are they getting out of that i have to say like i'm so happy with where we are Mm. in the content creator space right now like just me and you personally Mm -hmm. like we are fortunate to have great relationships with the designers and publishers that right. we value the most. Um, we can pretty much reach out to anybody and say, hey, we're really interested in this or that. And like I would say nine times yeah, out of we ten, get, we get a good we response. Get we which, <laughs> almost um, to a fault now because it's yeah, like because we get these games like we, we ask so for and it's like, oh man, I got more work to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a blessing and a curse. And right. I, but I think we, you're right. We are, we are exactly where we've always wanted we to be. We get to sit down and play stuff, I feel like, with yeah. you. I, don't, I feel like when it starts to be work, we can step back from it. Yep. We're not tied to anybody. So like for me, I'm completely in my happy place yeah. <laughs> right now where we're at. Um, without and we get to cherry trying pick. to like add anything else, yeah. Like I, I really just feel like we're really, really blessed and really fortunate. To yeah, be we are. And I, I will agree with you on that. And I think, I think a lot of that comes with really level setting what brings you the value and where you want to be successful in your life. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we had a choice: do we want to be successful as content creators mm-hmm. in the board gaming space, or just content creators in general, or do we want to be successful at our at our actual careers? Yeah. In the real world, right? Because yeah, if well, I want, and because as I, our, I'm sorry, but like as our job as parents, as or as parents, as, right? You know. And so, well, parents is number one, no matter what. Well, That's yeah, non-negotiable, so. <laughs> right? So we want to be great parents, and number one. But but you can't do. Both. You can't be a super successful at your day job mm-hmm. and also be super successful on your social media and YouTube content creation channel. Like those if who can do it. If you're considering success, like blowing up. I'm saying success is like a hundred thousand like, subs and more, yeah, right? right? And just getting a ton. Like that to me, that's success, mm-hmm. right? But that's most of the people at that level are doing it full time. Right. Yeah. It's just the reality mm-hmm. of it, right? Um, we chose to be super successful at our careers, yeah. right? And we've put in a lot of hours, blood, they sweat, do, and tears, yeah. and we are both. <laughs> extremely blessed in what we do for a living like we have incredible jobs so that i'm good with right and that's where my passion is and that's where i'm going to be able to retire yeah he's so happy right now yeah like (laughs) i'm in the great place uh career-wise so uh so that's what it really uh, allows us to not really be affected by the success or (laughs) non-success or failure of our of our uh our channel because at the end of the day we do what we want we put it out there and I don't look at the subs anymore. Mm-mm. I don't look at the sub growth anymore. Uh, we have friends who are content creators who call us and tell us about other channels growth and, <laughs> oh, we saw your last video, it did this well. And I'm like, I don't even know and I don't even care quite frankly. Yeah. All I know is we've put out content, people are watching it mm-hmm. and that's all that matters, right? Yeah. And I don't care if it's 50 people or a thousand people. I get, I just get my, my joy comes from like seeing the comments pop up in the app yeah. from videos that we did like two years ago or like a Kickstarter that's just mm-hmm. now fulfilling and it's like, oh, this video was so helpful or this was so great or you guys have great chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, cool. Like people are continuing to like love the evergreen content and oh, I don't feel like we're creating a piece that is just going to be not in re- or irrelevant in a week. Exactly. You know, so I'm happy. That and we see we directly what happens to our friends in this space when they don't get the growth they expect and they put in the effort for it yeah. and it just oh, doesn't yeah. pay off yeah. and it's like, 
you've got to do all the things you've got to do and if you're not mm-hmm. and it doesn't pay off you've you've either got to make a choice do you yeah. stay with it and try to change and try to pivot or do you just kind of just do what we're doing and just continue to do your content and not care or do you just stop doing it yeah. like there's there's a multiple ch- multiple choices here but uh, for us we found the right mix Mm-hmm. And um, we hope you all continue to enjoy the content we put out. Yeah, um, we're going to continue to put out our formula, our formula, mm-hmm. because it's what works for us. Yes, um, it's where we've gotten to. We're able to produce the content uh, with a certain amount of effort. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can turn the, the the footage around and get it uploaded within a quickly. very quickly quick mm-hmm. amount of time, uh, and it allows us to put out the the most optimal amount of coverage we possibly can with. Mm-hmm. Given our current constraints. Yes. <laughs> Given the few hours that we have in night. Yeah, because we put in a lot. Like I said, we, we put a lot of our, our, our blood, sweat, and tears into our family, raising our kids, yep. um, and our careers, yeah. like which is what we put as priority. Like mm-hmm. if I'm super stressed at work for a week, you know, we're not making content. Well, and I like that that's where we're at right now, too, because I think even last year, I think we got to a point where it was like, we just had so much work, work in the backlog, mm-hmm. and it was like... We'd have a hard day at work, both of us, like long day. We'd come home, get the kids to bed finally at like 7.30 or something. Yeah. And it's like, we just look at each other and be like, oh, I just don't want to do this. Yeah. Like, I, we, and we would, I think, even sit down with the lights on and everything and just look at each other and go, I can't do this. Yeah, right I would, now. We, I'd like, set this up the is game. Not going to come across and I, good. <laughs> I would be like, you know what? I'm not in the mood to play this tonight. Yeah. So can we just go watch TV or or something because I yeah. can't I don't have the energy the yeah. strength or the desire to do this mm-hmm. and when you get that way about something you're supposed to love yeah that's a big red flag yeah for sure and we had to really reassess what we were doing mm-hmm. um, and come to the place where we are now where yeah. we you know we actually sat down we played Nucleum we played you know not too long a couple weeks ago yeah sat down played it I'm like that was a really good game like, I know yeah uh, you know, uh, does uh, it get you excited couldn't now? Aura, when like, we played that one I was like wow this is yeah. a really good game like yeah. when we get these gems that come mm-hmm. in like we have salt and sea i can't wait I to play that yeah. one right yeah uh, yep. because the viewers been putting out such they've been killing, killing it, it. there's uh, we it. love what they put out so we have yeah. that sitting over there i'm looking at it going yeah we got i can't wait to play that uh we got lawyer up yes uh, oh from, which we played from we played rock matter we played yeah. lawyer up had a great time with yeah. that i can't wait to show you guys that so yeah. we've got so many games that we really want to get out in yeah. front of you guys and if that really kind of reignited our, our passion for this um, and it, it's it's promising. It gives me hope, yeah. right? That that, the, that there's good games, you know, on the horizon. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I hope there's sort of a a, a great reset, yeah. if you will, in the hobby that kind of just so. shakes things up a bit and gets yeah. it back to the to its to its roots, right? Mm-hmm. To where you know the, the it's more about quality over quantity. Yeah, I think so. I think it will. And I think that as content creators and as influencers if you will or advertisers which is what we've been kind of pushed to become mm-hmm. we the universal we of content creation yeah. now um, I feel like we play a part in that we do. I think and I think I feel kind of responsible in a way for where the industry has gone because I could name another channel probably push <laughs> a lot of hype games that probably yeah, didn't deserve I know. to be sold but I think that you know for us to just kind of cover everything that comes in yeah for the heck of it, because everybody's talking because about it. Because you have week. to. It's the hot game. To, we need to like, get the, we well, need to be first to post. And in, and in the community, too, it kind of becomes like, well, if you didn't cover this, like, who are you? Yeah. Did you not get asked to cover the game? And yeah. It's like, oh, you didn't get a review copy? Did you get a review copy? It's like, okay, well, this is not a contest. And also, like, yeah. you know, we, and we just don't have that need. We don't have like, the need. And, and sometimes anymore. I'll look up, I'll be like, man, I wish I had this game. I'll do a search on email. I'm like, oh, actually, they emailed us two months ago and they never oh, responded. It's like, terrible. when you get to that point, again, we're just not, this is not. Yeah has not been a priority in our life um, yeah. for a while. And right. that kind of opened our eyes to, to mm-hmm. some changes we needed to make in order to continue to do this, mm-hmm. um, but on our terms. Yeah, I'm just, I can't explain how excited I am. <laughs> that number one, we didn't choose to quit yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> again, yeah. No. Uh, it gets to that point sometimes. We have heated, heated sometimes, debates yeah, where it's just like, he's like, I'm ready to shut everything down. Yeah, I've, I've made that so comment over the last year probably two or three times yeah. where I was ready to just call it, yeah. shut the la- shut the lights off and just be like, you know what, we're done. Yeah. We're not doing content anymore yeah. and we're out. But, but I like taking these breaks and then coming we need back the and sitting down and just... Like you said, like we sit down, like we we kind of refreshed ourselves on Nucleum, so we prepared to play tonight. Mm-hmm. And it's like, 
this is really good. Like mm-hmm. this is, it reminds me of when we first started playing games together. Yeah. And that feeling that we had when we were first creating content together. Mm-hmm. And that's when I really loved doing this. Yeah, I agree. And my hope is, and my feeling is like, that's kind of where we're getting back to. Because somewhere along the way, I feel like we kind of lost ourselves in the shuffle of you do. the hobby and, and content and you get, creation. And blah, content blah, blah, creation later, so. really sucks you into this whole popularity contest. It's a dark place. It's a dark place to go. And, and I feel really bad for, for those in it who feel they have to keep competing mm-hmm. um, with everyone else to get to get games, yeah. to get views, to get clicks. And they've got to be you know constantly making these top 10 lists to stay yeah. relevant. Um, and it's a really sad place that this is where it's gone. But that's the algorithm. That's the way YouTube works. Mm-hmm. And that's the way um, today's today's younger audience wants shorter form yeah. clickbaity content and right. that's what they flock to and it's just that's not in it's our it's just not what we do that's just not in our, our not our, that we may not try here and pocket, there or yeah. whatever but we've yeah, tried it's... and it's just like I hate doing it <laughs> so, I hate it so much. I'm just not gonna do it and I'm like if right. that means that our channel is gonna fade into obscurity then I'm okay with that I really yeah. am because we do this now for us and for those who keep coming back and enjoy mm-hmm. it and support us and we we can't be more grateful to yes. To our patrons and our mm-hmm. and our subscribers who continue to watch our content and continue continue to to be supportive to us and 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 tell us you know how much our content means to them yeah. and that really is what keeps us driving and um and we're gonna keep going we're gonna yeah. keep going until until we just can't do it anymore but yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna start but we're 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 dialing it down to where it's on our terms now and we're yeah. playing games for us we're playing the games that we want to play mm-hmm. uh, and that's it yeah that's where we're at nice. I'm very excited. You're good with that. I'm good with that. All right. So we've covered all that. Is there anything else um, that you wanted to discuss? I should have come prepared with like an actual list of the games that we're going to be playing in the next couple of days slash well, weeks. We'll let them come to the channel. you guys and, can come back and find out. And, and um, see that for themselves. Yeah. I'm excited about I'm excited about the lineup of stuff that we have. Yeah. So. We dropped a few, uh, few yeah, titles in, a few the, good in, ones. in the video. So. And I'm just I'm looking back and I'm excited about all the stuff that I want to play. Yeah. There's some good stuff. In, in our series. Yeah, we're going to do some designer series because I think, you know, obviously Lacerda is going to be top of the list. Mm -hmm. I want to do a Suchi too. Suchi's definitely going to get a get a series in there. He's been sneaky. Yeah, we've been been playing a lot of games lately that I'm like, this is really good. (laughs) It's another Suchi game. Yeah, like, well, there's there's something (laughs) to be said there, right? He's doing good work. Um, So we've got we've got certain designers that we've been really appreciative of, and when their games come out, we we pay attention. Yeah, and we have a lot of games that we have that we haven't played yet that like. Like Predaporter, for example. Yeah. We played it like one time. I can't even it, tell you if that's good or not. But. Can't even tell you if it's good. Don't know. But <laughs> like we'll to, play it. Like and to we'll figure find that out. out and then <laughs> see if it goes on our store. Yeah, so that's going to be the model now is where you're going to see a video of a game. Yep. You're going to hear our review. It's either going to be it was great or it's listed. Yeah. Like it's great. It's staying in our collection or it's. We and here's it, where you can go to buy it. Go yeah. go to our store and pick up a used copy. Yeah. So we are selling games, I guess. We are definitely <laughs> selling, we are gonna, well, selling crappy games. We're going to sell not, you, not our review copies, yeah. but we're going to no. sell some of the games in our collection that we just do not like. Yeah. Anyway, well, we just yeah. don't have a place they, they, for Well, we'll say that just aren't a good fit. Yeah, not a good fit for us. Yeah. Well, they're not, not a good fit they're because bad, we don't enjoy them. But yeah. we don't enjoy them. That's Somebody true. else is going to enjoy them. Oh, like, yeah, there's sure. a game for everybody. That's not for everybody as well, right? So, like, people rave about Dune Imperium, right? And well, we got the expansion. We have the expansion that's supposed to fix it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to see if that actually does fix it. Yeah. And if it does, we'll keep it. If it doesn't, out the door with you. Because, again, it's yeah. another one where I just don't line up with everybody else's hype tastes and, and why know. they rave about it. I'm just like, I don't see it. Yeah. But, hey, who knows? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, uh, I, think, I think that about wraps it up, yeah? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So, with that said, we will put links to everything that you need to know down in the notes Mm -hmm. and uh, we'd love to hear your comments hear your thoughts yes let us Uh, know what you would like to see yeah if you would like certain series let us know and we'll see if we have uh have enough in our collection to satisfy that request Mm -hmm. but otherwise we thank you as always for watching and we hope to see you next time we'll see ya